today in this video we will learn how to practice the basic clear for beginners basic clear for beginners before we go to any further I would like to show you how to hold your racket properly all right first let me show you how to hold your racket properly this is how you hold your racket make sure the V shape is on the edge of the left side of the grip right here and then you try to keep your index finger further out in the front instead of your thumb okay so this is the right way it's not like this it's not like this try to keep it like this index finger further out your thumb is on the bottom and you want to make sure that when you hold your racket don't hold it so tight okay otherwise you won't be able to use uh, to maximize the power of your grip okay try to hold your racket very loose very gently and lightly right and then uh, I would like to for me personally I try to keep my thumb touch my middle finger right here right instead of just like this I saw a lot of people they hold their racket like this yeah so you try to keep your thumb touch your middle finger right here so just hold it loose like this all right now I'm gonna focus on the clear motion which I suggest for all the beginners player to practice to spend more time uh, just focusing on the motion because I think this is very important for them uh, because I saw many uh, players you know they just like to hit but actually their, their motion their, their form is, is not right it's not proper so I think it's better it's good uh, for your player to spend more time doing uh, this kind of motion okay all right I'm gonna show it to you really quick okay start with ready position I call ready position as number one okay ready position okay so keep your elbow high Okay, your shoulder slant it to the side. Okay, and then keep your left hand on the top like this. So ready position. Okay, number one, number two, you rotate your hips and try to keep your elbow high. Okay, not too low. Number one, ready position. Number two, rotating your hips and then make sure when you rotate your hips, you want to lift up your right toe, right heels. Okay, you turn it in the same time. Go back to ready position. One, two. Okay, make sure your shoulder face forward. And then number three, follow through. Okay, so one more time, ready position. Okay, number two, rotate your hips, keep your elbow high. Number three, swing. Follow through. Okay? As you can see, when I swing my racket forward, I, in, I snap my wrist. I include uh, snap. Okay? So, one, ready position. Number two, rotating. Number three, swing. Follow through. Alright, one more time. One, two, three. Make sure when you swing your racket, you want to swing your racket straight forward. Okay? I saw a lot of people, they swing their racket like this. One, two, three. A lot of people, they did this. Okay? Or, okay? That is not the right way to do. One, two, three. That's wrong. That's wrong. Okay? So, one, two, three. One, Repeat this clear motion exercise until you feel comfortable with your stroke and once you feel comfortable with your stroke you can move it forward using the body. Alright guys, right now I'm using voice recorder simply just because to make it easier for me to explain. Alright, first thing you need to do is uh, make some adjustment. Alright, make sure the body landed right in the center of your racket. So when you bring your racket high up Make sure the body land in the center of your racket. First, you might want to start with ready position. Bring your hands high. 
Number two, rotating your hips. Keep your elbow high. And then three, make a contact. Again, number one, bring your hands high up. Number two, rotating your hips. Keep your elbow high. Number three, contact the body. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And you might want to do this as much as you want, as much as you can, until you feel comfortable with your stroke, until you're comfortable with your shot, and it'll become a good habit, a new habit for you. Alright? Alright, now this is how it looks like from the back. Start with ready position, keep your racket high up, face forward, elbow face forward, and then follow through. One, ready position, start again, ready position, rotate your hips, elbow face up, and follow through. One, two, keep your elbow face forward, number three, follow through. You might want to snap your wrist when you contact the birdie. One, two, snap. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, four. One, two, five. One, two, six. One, two, seven. If you notice when you hit, you want to keep the birdie straight in the straight line. Don't try to hit it to the left, don't try to hit it to the right. Try to keep it in the straight line. Alright? Alright, now this is how you practice to improve your strength on your wrist. Just number two and number three. Two and three. Just snap your wrist gently, don't hold your racket so tight. Just keep it loose. Keep your elbow high and then snap. 